Hi everybody, it's Crystal. Welcome to my channel, Bag of Day Crochet. So, uh, you know, here we talk about yarn and crochet. Uh, I have lots of tutorials, but today we're going to be talking about yarn. So I have some mystery <laughs> bags. If you know anything about me, I love mystery bags. Um, so I purchased from uh, a yarn company that I've never bought mystery bags before. Actually, I didn't even know they had mystery bags. This might be the first time. Or if it isn't, it's the first time that uh, I've, I've seen them um, on their store. So, um, I bought from Michigan Fine Yarns. Now, it is a small yarn company in Michigan. I purchased from them one other time um, just some uh, blue heron yarn that they had on special at one time. It was a while ago. And that's the only time I've ever purchased from them. I don't really know why. Um, they have nice yarns, but I just happened to come across, um, that they had mystery bags and you know, I love them so much. I'm sorry. I'm bringing it up on there so I could tell you about it. So they had three different, oh, sorry, not three, three different, um, varieties of mystery bags. Like I said, I've never seen these on their site before. It's possible that they had them. Um, People often wonder how I find this stuff. I either usually scour the internet or I'm signed up. I'm actually signed up to pretty much every yarn company that I know of's mailing list. And they'll usually email when they have sales and whatnot. Um, other than that, I'll scour the internet. So they have three different types. They had a uh, an acrylic mystery bag and a wool or a natural fiber mystery bag. And then they had a high-end mystery bag. So I only got one of each. Generally, I would get would have got two of each to see if they were the same. But the high end one was a little expensive, so I could I could only at this time get one of each. But you know we can look and see what's in them. Okay, so we'll start off. Uh, this is uh, Michigan Fine Yarns. I am not affiliated with them. Like I said, I only bought from them once before, and this is the first time getting a getting mystery bags from them. So they shipped uh, USPS Priority Mail. They shipped it the very, uh, I think I ordered it on a Saturday uh, or a Sunday, but they shipped it that Monday. So it got here really fast. I had no trouble with shipping. Um, it was fast. Um, I didn't have to contact customer service, so I can't say anything about, about that. But I want to see what's in this mystery bag. I hope that they're separated, you know, so I can tell. That's what I worry about when it comes with mystery bags. And it looks like... They are in different bags. Hopefully, I, I'll be able to tell which one's which. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. I love mystery bags so much. Okay, let's see. Oh, my gosh. It looks just like the picture. It comes in this bag here. This is what the picture looks like on their website. I really didn't read enough to know that it came with the bag. I thought this was just like their picture. Hey, this is a mystery. <laughs> Okay, so this one is, it says, Dear Crystal, um, a very warm thank you from everyone here at Michigan Fine Yarns team for your support in our small, bu small business. We hope uh, you enjoy our order. Now, that isn't tailored to me. I don't, it's just, uh, I think it's probably something they put into every package, I hope. I doubt they even know who I am, but let's see which one we got here first. Oh. Okay, so this one, oh, it's labeled too. Nice, nice packaging. Nice bag here. Okay, so this one is their mystery um, acrylic blends is what it's called. So here it is. So they come in this nice bag. This seems like kind of like a recycled paper, like hard paper bag. That's nice. Like, it seems, I can't explain that, kind of cardboardy but papery at the same time. That's nice. It's sewn up at the sides. So that is so super cute. Michigan Fine Yarns. You make, we inspire. Love that. Okay, so this one was, I'll say, so the bag itself is $16.99 because the bag itself has a price tag on it. Okay, but the mystery bag altogether for the acrylic blends one was $34.99. Okay. Now at the making of the video, which is six or two sixteen twenty twenty three. It says they have six in stock. 
Okay, I don't know uh, anything about how they restock or anything, and I don't even know if this is going to be a good mystery bag, but we can look at it right now. I'm excited to see that uh, high-end one. <laughs> okay, so we got some uh, Shekamar yarn. I never pronounced that right. Micro Grande. It is made in India, 100% polyacrylic. Feels fine. Feels a little bit, uh, got a high twist on it. That's nice. Uh, machine wash on coal. Do not tumble dry. And what's the yardage on it? 100 grams, 200 meters, so about 220 yards. So I got this one, which is actually labeled that they sell in their shop for $6.99. So I got that in white. Um, and I have another one. The same thing in blue. And then I got these are the same, two more in white. And then I got two more in this pretty pink. So those are all the same yarns. They're all 100% acrylic. They feel good on acrylic scale. I give that a six and a half. Feels really nice. Just maybe possibly a seven. That's pretty dang good for an acrylic for me. Um, that's that's nice. Uh, yeah, the pink feels a little bit softer, but the other ones are all soft. So that's what I got in the acrylic bag for $34 or $35, $34.99. Um, and they sell these for $6.99 a piece, and I got two, four, six. So I got a $42 value for $35 if you're doing their retail value, <clears throat> plus a $16.99 bag, reusable bag. That's a pretty cool bag. So that was what was in my acrylic bag <clears throat> for $34.99. I do not know if you will get the same because I didn't buy two to see. You know, I'm sorry I couldn't do that. But that was my acrylic. I like it. I'm happy with it. I feel like that was a nice, you know, a nice deal. Especially for a small yarn company. You can't expect um, them to have like big box, like <laughs> some yarn companies have huge, you know, big box stores. They'll have mystery bags sometimes and you just can't expect their mystery boxes to be like, you know, they sell higher end yarns. How about that? How about that? I don't really know how to explain it. Anyways, I'm happy with that one. Let's move on to the next one here. Let's see what we got here. This one is... <clears throat> Oh, the bag says washable paper. This earth-friendly, beautiful, crafted 350 GSM heavyweight natural craft bag. has a crisp, bold, elegant lines. And it's washable. Interesting. I would never think that would be washable. Unless I was just talking about the handle. I don't know. Well, anyways, it's a cool bag. And like I said, the bag itself has a price tag of $16.99. Okay. Okay, so this is the natural fiber bag. And at the making of the video, I'm looking right now, it says they have seven in stock. And these are $49.99. So $50 for this bag right here of mystery natural fibers. Well, let's see what we got. Ooh, we got some Noro. Bag of day likes the Noro. So we got some Noro, which originally sells for $12.99 at their shop. You can see that's the brand. I try not to pronounce the Noros. I usually can't pronounce them, but that's the variety of it. I like the greens. I know someone who will like this a lot. I'll save it for them. Um, this is 50 wool, 32 silk, and 18% viscose. It's 50 grams and 135 meters, so close to 150 yards. I like it. It's very pretty. So that came in my natural fiber bag. Then I got some Universal Deluxe DK Superwash. Um, it's a very, very pretty light gray there. Let's see if I can read some stuff about it here. It's 100% superwash wool. 
284 yards or 259 meters. So we got a super wash merino here. Smells clean. Their yarn smells clean. I didn't smell them. Didn't do the smell test. Yeah, smell like a yarn store kind of. <laughs> um, machine wash bowl, tumble dry on low. All right, so this is 284 yards. Of, it says it's a DK super wash merino. There you go. I think that's a good DK. Nice. Feels good. It's not. It's not scratchy. I I, I can't say that it's the softest. Uh, Superwash Merino that I've ever felt because I've felt a lot of Superwash Merino. Merino is one of my favorite wools, but this one is not bad and I would wear a scarf out of it. It's scarfable still. You can make a garment and it wouldn't bother you to wear it against your skin. So, um, you know, that's some nice yardage in there. 284 yards. So I got the light gray in it. It doesn't have a sticker as far as a retail value. And then I got another one of the light gray. So two of those. So that gives me almost 600 yards that I can make a hat and scarf out of that. And then I got this. Ooh, some Ella Ray. That's got a $14.99 label on it. So 15 bucks a hang for that they sell. I like Ella Ray. This is, uh, I have had this before. This is uh, Chunky Merino, Superwash Chunky Merino. Pure Superwash Merino. Now it feels about the same as this one as far as the Superwash Merino goes. You know, it's not the softest Merino that I ever felt, but it's still a soft yarn. Um, it's... You could wear it against your skin. It smells like a yarn store, which always smells good, you know. <laughs> um, this is, let's see, 3.52 ounces, 100 grams, 136 yards, or 125 meters. All right. And then I got two of those plus the bag. So that was my uh, $50 or $49.99 natural fiber bag. So these two alone were $30 at, you know, in their store retail. Remember, it is a small, small yarn business. So I like to support those. These don't have a retail, but I do like those. I think those would make a nice hat and scarf set. There's plenty there to do that. And then I got a Noro, which sells for $12.99 in their shop. So that was in my natural fiber bag. Nice. And then I got, they had one more, um, which, oh, they have a socks one too. I didn't buy that one. I'm not, um, I don't do the socks yarn, but I didn't buy that one. Now they have a luxury yarn. Now this one was a little bit expensive and this is why I didn't buy two of each of them like I normally would. This is $129.99. So $130. And at the making of the video it says there's seven in stock. I don't like I said, I don't know how often they replenish that. But um it does say each mystery bag contains an assortment of 250 to 450 grams of yarn, you know. Depending on what balls you get, I guess. Okay, so the luxury yarn one as well comes in this nice bag. I like bags, I do. I'm gonna get put these in the giveaways here. I'm excited about the luxury yarn one. I hope it's nice. Okay, let's see. Oh man. Oh, I see some sparkle. Okay, let's start with this. I see some Rowan in here. Okay, this is Rowan Kid Silk Creation Stripe. I've never had this. Now this is a very fine, and this is something that I won't keep, but I know someone that would probably like this, and I will save it for them. Um, this is super seventy percent super kid mohair, thirty percent silk. It feels very soft. Um, made in Italy. I love Rowan. Rowan's are my top five favorite yarns. Hand wash, lay flat. Where is the uh, yardage or meters at? Um, it is, <laughs> oh, it's thick. It's not thin. It's a thick, like, novelty yarn. Okay, so, you see that? I thought it was thin mohair, but it's not. It's a chain spun, thick, novelty type of yarn. But is it ever soft? What can I do with that? I don't know. 
You guys got any suggestions? Anyways, that was one. Mm. Oh my gosh, it's Art Yarns. I love Art Yarns. I don't know if you guys watched me open some Art Yarns the other day. Oh, this stuff isn't cheap. Um, some of it isn't. Okay, so this is very sparkly and very beautiful. Very thin for me, but I know someone who can use this. And I will save it for them. This is uh, Art Yarns Luxury Hand Painted Yarns Silk Mohair Glitter. Ooh, it's 60% Super Kid Mohair, 40% Silk, 25 grams. Um, 8.875 ounces, 285 meters or 312 yards. So, um, says it's made in the U.S. and New York. Nice. Yeah, I got some art yarns the other day from a high luxury store. And I made this hat out of some Italian cashmere that came from, uh, that was uh, hand dyed in New York. It was art yarns as well. I don't have a tutorial for this. This is my special soft hat. I love it. It's so pretty. But yeah, this, so I like it a lot. Um, so look at that beautiful stuff. It's pretty thin for me. That's why it has a lot of yardage. I like the sparkle in it, but look at that. Jeez, that's like a zero weight right there. I could put it with something else, but I, you know what? I think I know someone who would really love these colors and I could probably put this to better use than I could. And this retails for $22.99 at their store. Ooh, that's soft. I like that. Let's see. Ooh. Got some Madeline Tosh. I like Tosh. All right. <laughs> this is pretty. I probably have to keep this one. I do like Madeline Tosh a lot. And I have to say, I like the color of this one a lot. Um, look at that. It smells like a yarn store. Okay, so Madeline Tosh hand dyed yarns. It sells for $26.99 a hank at their store. It's a uh, Pashmina worsted. It's 75% merino. Uh, 15% silk, 10% cashmere. Mm. 210 yards, 192 meters. Machine washing cold. Lay flat. The color is called black walnut. So I got two of those. That's going to be a hat for me. Now you look at it, it's pretty, it looks greenish. It looks like if you've ever seen black walnuts in the shell, I guess it's similar to that. Um, when you open up the shell, what the insides kind of look like. I don't know. It's around here that it does. My husband eats black walnuts all the time. I kind of think they're gross. But, <laughs> yeah, that, that, you know, I could see the resemblance of them calling it that. From where I live, it's very similar to the inside of a... When you open up the, the walnut shell, you drop off your tree like this. And then you open them up. Looks like this. Beautiful, beautiful. That's some soft stuff. You know, I probably won't keep both of these, but I will keep one for a hat. I always say a hank of yarn. I always say that because my favorite thing to make is hats. My video is getting a little bit longer, but um, my favorite thing to make is hats. And every time I get a hank that has at least 180 yards in it, I'm always like, that's hat making material for me because I can make a hat out of that. And this has got like 220 in it. So, and it's a cashmere merino blend, cashmere silk merino blend nice 210 yards not 220 so yeah i save those for me and then i have two more hanks up in here Ooh, it's a yarn i never had never seen never touched before wagtail yarns growers and processors of fine mohair childers queenland australia it is a sport weight 100% kid or fine kid mohair. 100 grams, 375 meters, or 410 yards. This is interesting. This sells for $32.99 at their shop. I, I believe that it probably costs that much. Um, do not agitate or rub. Hand wash. Dry flat. It's a number two weight. 
The color is called leaf green. I think that's a very appropriate name. So this is extremely soft. It's very nice. Smells like a yarn store. But as you can see, it is a number two weight, which I'm not a super huge fan of using. It's a three ply two weight, I think is that what it said? Four ply two weight. So there's four plies twisted together to make a two weight yarn, I guess. And there we are. There's your two weight. That is some soft stuff. And again, I know someone who I'll save this for as well. I, I, I don't keep a lot of these yarns that I sell, but I do, or that I, that I sell, I don't sell yarn. I don't keep a lot of these yarns that I buy. I just love looking at mystery bags. And every once in a while, you know, I find a yarn that I want to keep. Like this Madeline Tosh, I'm definitely keeping that. That's my style of yarn right there. I like Madeline Tosh. I love that color. It's hat making material. It's a cashmere merino blend. I mean, that's right up my alley. Now these other ones, this is interesting. That I've never seen this before. Never heard of this brand. From uh from Australia, it's very soft. It's very pretty, but these these right here, I know, and although I do like Noro, I know someone that could put better use to this yarn than I will. So I will save it for them. Um, and these other yarns, I love them, but you know what? I think you might see them probably in my net. Well, I don't know what I'll do with them. I could. This would make a nice hat and scarf set. I like everything that I got. Um, do I think it's worth what they're asking for? Let's see. Let me look at their retail here. 66. Um, 66. Five. Yes, they're over. I mean, they're at their retail is over the asking price of their mystery bags. So yes, I do think that it's worth it. Plus you're, you know, you don't get as much in from small businesses because it's higher in yarn. And I know that. And I love everything I got and I think they're very worth it. And um, if I had the means, I would buy them again, but there aren't many left. I'm not going to buy any more. But I can't say that this is what you'll get since I only bought one of each. So I can't tell you if they're going to be the same or not, but I love everything that I got. And if I can't use it, I know people that will use it. But I know out of all this yarn, 100%, I will keep these two Madeline Tosh. Because um, I do like Madeline Tosh a lot. And that is a very, very gorgeous color. Seems like it needs to be made into a hat today. I'll probably keep one of these bags. Remember, these bags are 60, had $16.99 retail. Just for the bag itself. So I'm very happy with my purchase. Oh, they... Okay, I did, they must know who I am. I didn't say who I was. I just ordered it, but um, they probably knew. Maybe they knew from my name. But I have the receipt here, and it says, Thank you for your videos and spotlighting our little yarn shop. Michigan Fine Yarn Team. We hope you enjoy your mystery packs. Very, very nice. But you know what? Even though that they know who I am, it doesn't mean that they tailored it to me. Obviously, they didn't because it has a lot of fine yarn in it that, that I don't use. Um, so I think that this is probably some of the things similar that you can expect to receive in any of these bags that you buy. Oh, I love it. I had such a good time. I love that Madeline Tosh. Um, like I said, I would definitely buy from them again if they ever have mystery bags again. Um, you only have a few left now. I love supporting small businesses and it's just great. And I love to showcase them whenever I can. So that's it. I hope that you enjoyed my video. It was a lot of fun. And I always do enjoy finding new new places to find mystery yarn. They always bring a smile on my face. Super happy about that Madeline Tosh. That's definitely my fave. But it's all magnificent. And uh, I love it all. Um, so I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye guys.